Hello, everybody. Yep, it's me. It's Ann. I'm back now. Anyway, I was going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff I got for Christmas. Not that it's that big a thing, but I got stuff that I find very interesting. One of the things I got is the Pro Pigments from Profusion, which is pretty, 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 pretty. Yes, I was looking at the monitor to make sure I was in frame. One of the other things that I got, only this one wasn't really for Christmas, Profusion had some really nifty palettes out for Christmas gifts. Now, I've done stuff with the Cheers, which was the first one I got. However, Celebration, which has got all of this glittery stuff in things, and it's in its own little, the glitter is in its own little encapsulated world. This is the Celebration. I picked this up at a local drugstore because it's it was listed as 20 bucks, and then it was on... 15 for the holidays, and then when I went in the other day, they had already marked it down to 50% off, and I'm going, mine, $7.50, I'll take a pallet that size, that's okay. One of the other things that I got for Christmas is I've been tinkering with the idea of doing some of my own homemade natural material cosmetics. I'm not looking to do eyeshadows. Everybody and their Uncle Fudd is doing eyeshadows. And I'd really rather buy eyeshadows from small makers that I support than start making my own eyeshadows. However, I was thinking about things like lipsticks and Mascara, believe it or not, making mascara is fairly easy. And people are still looking for color mascaras. Now, what I'm going to do is, if I really get into this, is I will show people how to DIY your own mascaras. Now, the plain black is just flat easy. A couple of capsules of activated charcoal, and you're good. Um, doing the color ones, my husband actually bought me a set of the pigments, not the loose eyeshadows, the actual concentrate pigments that come in little bitty bags. So I'm going to see what I can do with those for things like a little bit of lip balm, lip oils. Um, liquid lipsticks are the easiest. The bullet lipsticks you have to buy a mold for. Now, the big molds that, you know, the commercial molds, got me picking nitro patches itching. Um, the big commercial molds that do like 20 at a time are flipping expensive. Um, there's a company that makes a a lot of things like, you know, the, the Versa gel that you can use to make your own um, liquid lipsticks and that kind of thing. And the lip, you know, the liquid lip balms and that, or glosses. They have a couple of different molds. I've got, you know, a two and a four and that kind of thing. There are some other companies that do twos and fours and sixes that are the metal molds more like the the commercial ones that you can you know take completely apart to clean the ones that tdk is selling are plastics they're just two parts you don't have the little thumb screw on the outside like you do on the metallics to be able to take it completely apart um, you know you've got this stuff and the little containers with the doe foot or the empty um, 
mascara tubes are fairly inexpensive for small numbers. Or you can actually take your old mascara tubes and wash them out and wash the brushes and make your own. With doing the colors, I'm probably going to get, you know, new mascara tubes because you can't always guarantee to get all the black out of the reused ones. So, and it's like, if I'm trying to do white, I want it to come out white and not gray. I'm not picky. Anyway. In the meantime, I'm getting ready for New Year's. I'm getting ready for New Year's. We're going to do a little slap some on. And my little doggy is having a cow because he can't get to the food. He's being pitiful. So the beloved husband has come in and fixed the food bowl. That was all that rattling you hear in the background. We will see how this goes. Yes, I have my hair covered. I have done some color changing. We will see how everything looks once I get finished. La 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 la. Get my face out. La 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 la. Ah! Had a fuzzy on the base. Yuck. No fuzzies. No fuzzy. Don't want fuzzy. Fuzzy is not good. Anyway, I've got all kinds of stuff going on. And I'm going to be doing more writing. The writing class, which was my most recent one that I did. We did a short story. got out of that particular class with an A minus. The professor is a author that I respect very much. And he writes the kind of stuff that I like to read, being science fiction and fantasy and that kind of thing. And to get a decent grade in a writing class with a professor that, quite frankly, when I first found out who my professor was, I was kind of kind of intimidated. This is somebody who writes in my genre. And I not only got some really interesting feedback from him, I got some serious encouragement from him to keep going. <laughs> and it just kind of flabbergasted the old girl, you know? You know how some TV shows and movies kind of turn into a, a book franchise where they continue the stories in, in books and such. He writes for the Alien franchise and the X-Files franchise. Stuff like that. Stuff that I like. And he and his wife write together. And I'm just like ha! <laughs> because just because. And having somebody give me feedback that tells me to keep going and tells me to get the story to what I consider the absolute best I can and then start submitting it that somewhere the editor is waiting for this story let me tell you, I nearly fell out the chair, you know? I'm reading this and going, oh my God, he thinks it's, it's possible I might get somewhere with this. Yeah. 
there was one concept that I had in the story that in one part of the feedback he called uniquely fascinating and I'm going oh something that you don't normally get apparently currently I'm working with the big celebrate palette and there's this color up here in the top corner it's called fame I like the kind of vanilla shade and there's not another one in the mats that's really the shade, a similar shade, most of it's a lot darker. So, yeah, I'm taking a little time and playing with it and building it up a little at a time until I'm happy. I'm not in a rush today. If y'all are in a rush, you know where the speed widget is. Anyway, Christmas was pretty good to us. The grandkids got a haul, which is pretty normal. I made quilts for both the grandkids, my daughter-in-law's mother and us. My daughter-in-law is not so big on quilts, so she got a teddy bear blanket. I still technically have to finish the quilt for Gemini. It's not fancy quilting. It just, it's not fancy quilting. It's just tack and tie. I don't have a machine or a quilting frame to be able to do, you know, the fancy embroidery type quilting. And these are pretty thick. They're not the real thin ones that usually get the fancy work either. So, let's see what I'm going to do next. Let's see if I pick something from here or from the pigments. I think I'm going to pick this pink up here. In the, it's, a, it's a matte pink and it's fairly light. It's in the Celebrate palette, and it's called Personal. It's just kind of pale pink right up here in the corner. And I'm going to start kind of playing with that now. Let's see what kind of a foolishness I do with this. Now, remember, I've got hooded eyes, so I carry some of the colors up higher because otherwise you can't see them when my eyes are open. Right now, I'm still using really pale stuff. Now, Arsenal seems to have a lot of pan kick up. Where Fame did not. And I just tap it back off in the pan and then when I go in to pick up more, I just use the kick up. Now see, the pro pigments doesn't really, it, it's more of a companion palette than an all around. And the Celebrate has got everything. Mats, shimmers. All that lovely stuff. And technically, the Celebrate has got some face stuff, too. It's The whole row at the bottom is like blushes and bronzer and, and a highlight. And I'm going... I'm using them on my eyes. I've got plenty of the other stuff. 
I really do. I feel like putting them on my face. I will, but more than likely anything in this box is going to be shadows and stuff, whether it's designated as shadow or not. Now, there are a few mats in the Pro Pigments, but not that many. We have Bestie, which is this one, and Go Girl, and Jive, Disco, Devoted, Flint. Everything else in here is shimmery to some level. Let me see. I'm feeling kind of pink. So I'm going to hit this matte jive. And I'm going to start out here. Now, this one seems to be kind of pan kick up -y too. I'm getting pan kick up. Of course, I can just pick it up on my way back through when I go to put more color in. Not a big deal. And yes, the face is... is Got the moisturizer and all that other lovely stuff on it. And even though I'm not going anywhere and it's a dim day, I'm got my sunscreen on. I like that. I'm, I'm trying to stay in the habit of putting it on regardless, just in case I end up going out when I think I'm not. And it's still early enough in the day that somebody could drag me out. Okay. I'm going to pick up one more color with this brush. Yes, I've been using the heck out of this brush to start with. I'm picking up Nebula down here. It's kind of a charcoal, but it's also got kind of a bit of a purple to it. I'm going to use that right here just to kind of temper that pink a little bit on the outside. Now I'm not spraying it so I'm getting more of a matte effect here. And yes, I will be cleaning this up in a little while when I go and do the rest of the makeup. La, 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 la. Start dragging just a little bit of that down into the under eye. And then Oh, 
Alright, that looks about even. I'm going to put this brush down. I think I've about wrecked it for now. And I'm going to start figuring out what the next color is going to be. Let me see. And while I'm doing that, I'll get my spray out. I'm thinking. Thinking. No, really, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Don't start with me. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one right here that's called Rush. Now, this means, since I'm going to be spraying and stuff, I need to put the side up on my table and put that palette down. Because I'm going to be fiddling in the pan. Now, this one's another kick up one. And then I'm going to be grabbing my spray. Cleaning my brush. Let's start working the center of this eye. Remember, wipe off the ferrule. It's kind of pretty. Now this one's being a bit kick up -y, kind of like a couple of others, but it's not like it's going to hurt anything. It's not so kick up -y that it's making a big mess. Now, we already know I have a habit of looking for lower dollar palettes. And let me tell you, I have not yet been disappointed with any of the palettes that I have picked up from Profusion or Clean Color and, you know, all of those in that ilk. There are little shops online that specialize in those. There are, Profusion has its own website, Clean Color has a website, all of that. All right, I think I'm going to go with this really pale pink called Dizzy on that inner corner. And we'll see where we go from there. I don't know. Let me think about this. I've got some gorgeous, really pales, like Atomic and Precious and Frosting. Precious gives me a little pause to think about because my dance teacher, yes, I dance, my dance teacher uses the word precious when she's about to land on you. <laughs> You can tell because she says, precious, <laughs> and it's like, just run. Just give it up, run, because you've done something stupid. I think I'm going to put frosted in that inner corner, just for the heck of it. Yes, I'm using the same brush, but it's a flat brush. It's got another side. Uh, 
Okay, frosting isn't quite so kick uppy, which is just fine by me. Wipe off your ferro. Be kind to your brushes. If you want to keep your brushes, you have to be kind to them. And if you don't be kind to them, you're liable to not have them long. Work on this a little bit and kill that really sharp line. I'm not interested in the sharp line today. All right, guys, that's enough. Enough with the bark marks. Ain't nothing happening. Nothing is happening. The son and his children are kind of stomping on the stairs that are going to the next next floor and it disturbs the dogs and the dogs go we don't like it bark bark I have probably gotten about as far as I want to just this minute. I believe I will go put my eyebrows on and get some base on and see what I can consider doing with the lower lid after I get all that accomplished. And I will be back. Alrighty, I now have eyebrows. See, I have eyebrows. I've put at least a little eyeliner on. I've got the tight line done on the upper and a simple first coat of mascara. I've got my face on. This time I used my Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. Now this one says it's got a broad spectrum SPF 50 on it it's not enough to not put on more SPF. You're only putting on a couple of drops of this stuff. That is not sufficient for actual SPF coverage. This one is in the 110 porcelain because especially during winter I'm I'm really really pale. I look kind of like a frog belly, you know? Anyway. Yeah, the... I'm not so sure about this. It's, it's the Maybelline Colossal Volume. I'm not seeing Colossal Volume, okay? But I ran out of my other mascaras, and I jumped and I grabbed one, and that's what I've got right now. Eyebrow pencil is my favorite thing. It's the e.l.f. And this one is in... Natural Brown. Technically, I could get away with using taupe, but it doesn't really show up very much. The tight line I did with another e.l.f. product it's just their gel liner in black. Me and my elf. Elf is another one of those inexpensive things that I dearly love. So now we're going to see about doing some of the other stuff. I'm trying to use more of my stuff from my Ipsy bags. I got the Tarte Amazonian Clay Park Avenue Princess bronzer. Now the bronzer I like the color, but it's got a bit more sparkle than I prefer for a bronzer. You know, it's like it looks really dark, 
at least for me, in the pan. But as you can see, it's not really all that colorful on the face. Now I've heard that the tar that a lot of the tart clay, Amazon Amazonian clay, is like that. It looks kind of weird in the pan. In some cases it looks kind of grayer in the pan than you would expect. But it looks pretty good when you get it on your mug. Now while I was gone I also did a little fiddling with the eyeshadow. The center pink wasn't sticking up as much as I wanted it to so I got out another one of the ipsy bag kind of things. This is the eight well actually this is one that I bought from a lady here in town because she didn't want it and it had been in one of her subscription boxes. This is the Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadow in Cotton Candy. Now I didn't go all the way up but I did go you know across that center pink just to kind of you know kind kind of zhuzh it up a little bit with a little more sparkle powder that I powdered my face down with is the Cody Airspun I like the Cody Airspun and I know a lot of people are not thrilled with the scent of the Cody Airspun which is pretty intense I happen to like the scent of the Cody Airspun because it reminds me of my grandmother. Yes, for some of you who are younger, the Cody Airspun is in fact that old and older. <laughs> it's like, yeah, my grandmama was born in 1912. My mom was born in 1930. Okay, now, the blush I'm going to be using is another one that says Cotton Candy. But this is the Phase Zero Blusher. I figured, since I was doing a deal of pink, I should probably just stick to pink. Yes, pink. P-A-N-K. Pink. No, I'm not from the South at all. No. And dust a little pink over my cheeks. Now, this stuff is a little dusty kick-uppy in the pan. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a little dusty kick-uppy in the pan. Doesn't bother me too much, but You know it's there. Now, when I get to the highlight, this is one of the pieces that came in my Ipsy bag, and I am thrilled because I have been wanting to try the color green stuff. This is the Focal Point Glow Lighters. No flash needed. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to use more of my stuff so I'm not using just the same thing all the time. And I'm using more of the stuff I'm getting. What good is a, a, a subscription bag if you're not using the stuff in it. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of like that idea of using the stuff. Now, let me see what I am going to do with the under eye just a little bit. I think start with me I do occasionally think I 
think I may go under with this shade called Pop. It's still one of the pinkies, but it's heading into the purples. And I'm hoping that it's not quite so purple that I look like I've been hit in the eye. Now, a little bit of the frosting has crawled down here, but not enough to really bother with. Currently, I'm going to put something else in that corner. So far, I'm enjoying the pop. Under here. Now this one's not bad for kick up. Technically it's a shimmer, but to me it looks more of a satin. And I kind of like that. And I'm going to take some of this Bestie, which is one of the matte browns, kind of a gray brown here, Bestie. I'm going to pull it up into the upper lid just a little bit and then bring it down. I mean, after all, this is for New Year's. Got to have a little foosh going on. But I don't want dark foosh. Because what I'm going to be wearing is not dark. And I don't normally do a very blown out, even when I'm doing something that looks a little smoky. Just because I don't... I have fairly small eyes. And... Doing a great big blowout. Just, yeah, not quite. There. It's not too bad. I'm gonna give my face a quick spritz here. And then I'm going to go put on the shirt I'm actually wearing. Well, the sweater. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Put another layer of the mascara on. Let me tell you. On sale is one thing. On clearance, something else. This is still, after two coats, the best that I got. And the lower lashes. Anyhow. Yes, this is the new hair. And these are the earrings that I got from my daughter-in-law for Christmas. I kind of wish I had the poinsettias earlier, but, you know, you get what you get. But I absolutely love both pairs. Anyway, another piece out of the Ipsy. This is a Bite Lip Crayon in Glossé. Yes, anybody who was following me since last Christmas will probably recognize the pink sweater.
Okay, glossé. Not nude, but subtle. Time to go out and play for New Year's. Happy New Year. I hope yours is wonderful. Be good.